Welcome back to the Obby series. Today, we're gonna make disappearing stairs. Make sure you follow the other videos first. To start off, let's make this huge kill brick transparent. If you don't remember what that kill brick was for, it basically allows the player to die as soon as they fall off. No players will have to wait falling into the void. Next, let's make this text a little more subtle. In starter GUI, open up the screen GUI and find the text label. The first thing we should do is drag it down. Then we should make it smaller. Since we have the text set to scale, you can just drag it down like this. Now that it's a bit more out of the way, let's go ahead and lock this huge part. To do that, go ahead and click on the part, and press lock. Now when you press escape and try clicking, you won't be able to click on it. So far, these are our only two parts. So just for my obby, I'm gonna add a little part in between them. Essentially, this part is gonna be like a little rope block. Your obby can be completely different if you want it to be. Right here is where we're gonna add the disappearing stairs. This stairs model will be available on my Discord server. Go ahead and duplicate the last stage part, and then make sure you name it three. I actually have to flip these around. This is now one, and this is two. Let's go ahead and take the third one up and put it at the end of the stairs. In the interest of staying organized, I created a full called platforms. Inside there, I have this part called platform underscore three that basically just represents this platform right here. Let's go ahead and give it a color. I made my platform green, but you can make it whatever you want. In addition to that, feel free to recolor these stage parts. The next thing we need to do is go ahead and script the stairs. For scripting the stairs, we have one of two options. We can either make it so the stairs disappear for everyone if one person goes on them, or the stairs only disappear for one person at a time, so multiple people can use the stairs at once. I like making it so multiple people can use the stairs at once, and it's impossible to mess another person up. For that, go ahead and create a local script inside. Go ahead and name your script stairs script. Inside the script, go ahead and paste in this code. You can find this code for free on my Discord server. Remember, if you want to make it so people can mess each other up, make sure to make this script a normal script instead of a local script. In addition to that, remove this line here, these two lines, and this line. Before hitting play, remember to click workspace, and then go ahead and press the anchor button. This will make sure every part is anchored. One thing I did forget to mention is that if you're using a local script, you need to have that local script inside starter player scripts, which is underneath starter player. Player. Once your script is in there, you should be good to go. Remember, if you are using the server version that allows people to mess each other up, you need to have the script in here. In addition to that, you need to make the changes I talked about earlier. Keep in mind that the script may change by the time you see the video. Once you complete all the steps, you'll have stairs working just like this. After 5 seconds, the stairs will reappear. If you do want to customize that time, go ahead and change the 5 right here. If you now have working stairs in your game, go ahead and like and subscribe. If you don't, go ahead and leave a comment or ask for help on the Discord. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.